the Melody King. Episode 1, Pilot. Scene 1. Nathan walks in with his grana. Behind him, walks up to his papa's bedside. He is on hospice and is barely conscious. She grabs his hand. We are here for you. We're not going to leave you. He opens his eyes, looks directly at Nathan, then Grana. Play me a song. Make it slow. I want to hear my son play guitar and ask my wife one more time. Nathan grabs a guitar, <clears throat> holds Papa up in his bed and rocks him. Then it cuts to his funeral. And Nathan walking away from the casket in tears and up to Mom. I know. She grabs him and hugs him. He loves you and is proud. Nathan looks with tears still in his eyes. Mom, since Dad is coming home from overseas, I think I'm going to go live with him. She looks at him concerned. I don't think that's a good idea. I mean, it, it, should, it should be my choice, right? I'm, I'm old enough. Well... The one who actually stepped up would not want that. I just want to get to know him and change my environment. We can talk about it later, but I guess if that's what you want. Scene two. Nathan is in the car with his dad, looking at a note his grandfather left him. Happy birthday, Nathan. Be good. Take care of your grandmama and brothers. I'm proud of you. And subtitles 15 years old. So, what's the town like? It's nice. Like, any restaurants or things to do? Got a McDonald's. Dad, every town in America has a McDonald's. That's obviously not what I meant. Dad ignores. I'm excited to meet new people. I bet you will. Nathan looks over agitated and looks out the window. Scene three, nightmare. Very trippy foreshadowing flashing objects of A in the end of a pier with no one on it at night, a beach. Scene four, Nathan wakes up in a rush of emotions and starts getting ready for school and walks into the driveway and gets on the bus. Sit down there. Nathan looks in disappointment and plops down and then we see Earl sitting in the seat next to him and everyone else gets off the bus at school except Earl and Nathan. You didn't get off. You must be going to an alternative. Yeah, I am. <laughs> My name is Earl. Nathan, I'm completely new. You're the first person I've met in this town. That's sick. You smoke? I have, but honestly not many times. Get off at my house. It's right next to yours. I just got on before you. Okay, I figured. So, like, how bad is it? What you mean? The alternative. Work is easy. They dumb it down. Honestly, I'm off a muscle relaxer right now. I'm going to sleep the whole day. Also, you have to walk through a metal detector. Oh, that... That doesn't sound that bad. It's lunch. Earl and Nathan are sitting at the table. Dare new walks up. Stop, fellas. Can I pop a squat? Nathan smiles, and Earl pulls the chair next to him. What's up, Dare New? Your, your name is Dare New? <laughs> yeah. What's yours, bro? <laughs> like, that's your real name. And Nathan? I mean, nah, to be honest, I was crossfaded and I rearranged the letters in red wine. That's next level. That's actually pretty creative. Yeah, so I hear you making music, Nate. Yeah, how, how did you hear that? I kind of told him about your studio. I hope you don't mind. Speaking of me, you, him, your place tonight, let's make a fucking banger. <laughs> yeah, I'm game with your snap. <laughs> Scene six. Nathan, Earl, and Darren are walking to Nathan's house. Dad, these are my new friends. 
Erlen Dare knew. Dad looks at them and walks out the room. I guess Opera has friends in the family, doesn't it? Yeah, you can say that. Dare knew walks over to Dad's military rewards. Damn, how many wars has bro been in? I, I, don't, I don't even know. He barely talks. A few at least. What does he do? Some stuff for NASA and Homeland Security. He's never home. Your dad's like the real-life G.I. Joe. Scene 7. Nathan and Earl are on the bus with a group of girls behind them. Earl has a cup, and he's sipping it. Hey, Mr. Bus Driver. This is Elaine, Cody, Officer. Bus Driver says nothing. He really just doesn't care, does he? I think he's deaf. Watch. Yo, Nathan's got a gun! Nathan looks at Earl like he's about to kill him. Stop! You're so lit, you don't even know what you're saying. What? It hasn't even kicked in yet. Cuts to Earl passed out in his desk in class with Nathan and Dare New. <laughs> this teacher doesn't notice this man's in fucking comatose? You should, like, flick him. Make sure he's okay. I mean, it's your idea, not mine. You do it, bro. Nathan flicks Earl. Should we say something? Is he breathing? Dare you smash him hard and all he does is snore. Ah, uh, he's alive, just sloshed. See Nate. Nathan and Aura walking down the road, both with a bottle in hand. Never forget, if a crackhead walks up to you, you just ignore them. They'll get distracted. Yeah, noted, I guess. What's your problem? You got everything in the world to be happy about right now. Man, let's be honest, I don't feel like I have a place in the world. You got it all, bro. These girls wanting you because you're the new kid. But it's only because I'm the new kid. What What does it even matter? Either way, I don't really think you're depressed. You just think you are. A 18 wheeler starts coming down the right hand side of the road. Nathan moves over to the right side, opposite of Earl. Stops walking, and Nate spreads his hands out. The truck slams on brakes inches away. What the hell's wrong with you kids? Y'all on drugs or something? Nathan moves out the way and lets the truck pass. Okay, so yeah, that just happened. Scene nine, on the bus with Earl and Nathan. What you gonna do for your V-Day? I don't know yet. I think I just want everyone to come over and record. So me, you, and Dernu? Well, Dernu said he's gonna invite some people, but yeah. We can steal your dad's beer. He's had the same pack sitting there since y'all moved in. I, I don't know. What, what if he gets mad? <laughs> don't be such a goody two-shoes. Scene 10. Birthday party. Earl, Nathan, and Dernu are sitting on the couch playing Nathan's music. So, two more people are coming. I should just roll this up now so there aren't that too many heads on one blunt. He's on the way, but apparently he's got a studio way better than mine. Well, I'm gonna roll up anyways because he's taking way too long. Yeah, do that, would you? Abe walks in. Come here, has 16 roundhouse kicks. 16 years in subtitles. Nathan and Daniel start wrestling, then Abe and Flo's walk up. Yo, happy birthday, G. I'm Abe. I heard some of your stuff, man. You got a nice voice. I hear you got some pretty nice equipment. Yeah, man, I, I ain't gonna lie. Everything professional grade. I got it in my suitcase now. He literally keeps it on him at, like, all times. Yo, call me Flows, man. Kid, you're talented and different. I've been doing this for a minute, and I want to, and I want to take you under my wing. For show, like for real. The moment when I heard you, like you, like I could tell that you got it. I love music with all my heart. Thank you. Shit, let's record. Hey, set it up. Nathan's dad walks in with a cake, and they all start singing "Happy Birthday." Scene eleven. Nathan is walking with Darren New right after school. New Year, same old life. Yeah. Savage moment. New life starts again. It started 16 years ago. What are you talking about? Huh? What? What do you mean, dog? Oh, uh, no. I, I thought you said something. Nathan sees A and completely stops him in his tracks. 
And that's the episode.